You know, a good barbecue no. is an easy barbecue, uh, which means keep the recipe simple so you can prep stuff in advance. So first up, could you put a little olive oil or there's some spray there? You could put a little bit of salt and pepper on. Yeah, pepper. You've got to do like this, like I've uh, seen someone doing it like this. A, a little Ooh. massage of the vegetables. So these flat beans, delicious. I love actually a bit of chard on vegetables like this. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's lovely. Well, everybody Keep them crunchy a little bit as well. Yeah. Okay, I really like the fact that you've got um, spring onions there as well. Yeah, because they're tasty. You want to put some asparagus on? Yes, please. These are beautiful, actually. Yeah, Purple good. asparagus. You can make the dressing. And the easiest way to make a dressing is in a jar because you're going to emulsify it by shaking it. So we've got a bit of... Go get. Yeah, in she goes. About oh, that's quick. Greek, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> Everything has to be Greek. You put got soy, that. you put sesame oil, you put lime juice. Got that. What else went in there? Mirin. I'm going to put some sesame seed. Did you put wasabi in? Yep. Yes. Nice. Okay, all right. Give it a shake, love. <laughs> yeah, baby. Look at that. <laughs> Have a little taste. Oh, wow. And we don't want too charry. Well, it's well, up we... to you. But I don't want too charry. I don't want burnt. Okay, so while you do this, I'm going to go and get my spatchcock. Right. Yum. So just tumbled. And then you know what you can do for me? See that pickled daikon? Yes. And all you do with the pickled daikon, slice it really thinly. Let's have a look. Hold up a little slice. You can almost see through it. Just sugar and vinegar. About double vinegar to sugar. So it tastes kind of nice and just sweet it. and sour. Yeah, and then just... Over to you, Manu. So I've got garlic, thyme, that goes in that bowl, olive oil, lemon juice, salt, pepper, please. Chop, chop. So it does a little marinade for my spatchcock. So what I'm doing is I'm putting skewers through the thighs, so when you flip it over the barbecue, uh, it's easy to turn. You can marinate this for, you know, like half an hour before you do it. Skin side then first, and that's what you want to hear. Give so you could marinate this in advance? Yeah, like yeah, an hour, for sure. hour or the, two in advance, the, no problem. The, the more the better, I think. And then we're just going to put those asparagus. So I like to use my hand when I'm cooking. Very simple, Very nice. but that's going to be nice and juicy. Just going to be able to put it off the bone and then chew on it. And with that, I'm going to pour a little bit of uh, peppercorn sauce over the top of it. What peppercorn sauce? Well, it's the sauce by Manu. I just oh, I knew he was going to say I didn't want a <laughs> sauce of poivre. I didn't want a big cooking sauce for hours, so I brought my own. The way you know if it's ready to turn, if, if it doesn't stick to the yes. grill. Absolutely. See, up, ready to turn. Look at that. Well, I think those babies are done. So that's taken about 18 to 20 minutes. Yep. Nice looking sauce, man. Th thank you, chef. And what sauce is this one? That's pepper the peppercorn corn. sauce, which has got black pepper and green peppercorn. Mm. Man, is gorgeous sauce. Mm. Isn't that just gorgeous? All right, look, best for last is the smash pavlova. I've already cooked my peaches, only because if I add my peaches on the pavlova with the cream, it's going to melt everywhere. So the great thing, but we're just like literally breaking it up. Thick and cream, a little bit of icing sugar. Um, you can put cream fresh in there, yogurt, it doesn't really matter. Mm. And also a little bit of vanilla if you wish. There's something about it. Pavlovas, you know, I, I never did Look pavlova before I came into this beautiful country of France. But you know it's quite big over in France, Manu, now. It's called Vacherin. <laughs> That's quite oui. a pavlova. Oh, oh. The French oui copy pavlovas. Then raspberries. And we're going to put the passion fruit. Lovely. Quick question. Pav, what do you cook it at? 100. Mine only took about two and a half, three hours. Oh. See, Manu's already picked my basil, but what I love to do is I love to do it myself. It's like I'm gardening. So it's just like... So you don't want any help? What's, don't, you don't want any help. No, what's up? Don't get involved. Can I put a bit of peppercorn sauce in? No. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that just gorgeous? I mean, How many people everything? have we invited? Because there's a bit of food there. Is that just for the three of us? So you know what? Love cooking with friends. And the message is, get your friends and family together. And this summer, have a great barbecue or a barbecue. And raise money to yep. cure cancer.